Okay, so the next quick, quick video I'm going to do is a warm out of the 65Q800T. Plates on the wall already, but I'll discuss and go through that. I've got my mains cable, IEC mains for this particular model, aerial cable, network data cable. TV's there, I should just fetch an arm, so these are the arms that are all attached to the back of the TV. So this TV is just a standard Visa mount. It's got the connections on the TV, so no separate um, one connect box, which means no, no gap mount. So that plug in. So 400 square Visa there, so you can actually slide the TV side to side, and it just literally hooks on and off. Two screws there underneath to tighten to secure. I won't be able to secure it because there's a shelf there. That is the back of the Samsung 2020 Q800T, 65 inch model. My Visa arms here. What I need to determine obviously, this is where it hooks on the rail and I want to know the distance from the rail to the bottom of the TV and also the gap between the TV and that shelf that I've got. M8 volts, these are 20 mil, could maybe do with being a bit shorter, so I'm doubling up on washers to make them the correct length. Okay, so two washers on each of those M8 bolts there. Quickly fast forward it while I wind these in. Next thing, I've now taken the plate off the wall. Because I'm going to have to remount that plate anyway, so I thought I'll get my dimensions so we can see how it slides there. And I know the TV is 25mm thick, so if I put my tape there, I can look across. So from the back of the TV here to the back of that plate, which will be flat to the wall, it's another 25mm. So from the screen to the front, well, from the screen to the wall, it's going to stick off about 50 mil in total, which I don't know, I think that's acceptable to me. Dimension, so I know from the bottom of my bracket there to the bottom of the TV, it's 350 mil, and I probably want 150 mil gap below. So I'm going to measure from my shelf, get it in camera, to here, so the shelf, so the bottom of my bracket is going to be 500 mil. I've yeah, got my grubby spirit level. What I do like to do, I've got my mark there for the bottom of the TV. See I've already marked a wall, but just as an example, I do like to put my spirit level on top, make sure it's level, mark all of those slots that I'm going to use for screw fixings. Then as I nip up the screws, put the spirit level back on and just nip it up as it's level. So I shall fast forward this bit for the sake of not boring anyone too much. Start those two end ones. Okay. So I've just done the two ends to position it. That end is reasonably tight, the other end is not. level okay make sure I'm there yeah so only two screws in so far but I know it's level I can just wind the rest of the screws back in okay uh, next thing I shall attempt to do on camera is actually pick this thing up. Don't, I, don't, oh, I don't recommend anybody to do what I'm going to do next because I'm going to put it on there on my own, which I have done a lot of times, but I would always suggest two people to be safe. And then we'll see how we get those cables into the TV. The other advantage with two people is, as you're installing it, you can hold it, plug these cables into the back. Whereas I'm going to pop it on with one arm and then tilt the bottom out and plug my cables in afterwards. Okay, so this is the moment to be careful. Right, 
So I started it up above it and slid it down until I felt it hook on. And the other test, just give it a slight side to side while I've still got a firm grip, then I'm going to drop it. And that's on there nicely. Okay, and I will just peek my head around the side so I can see my hooks are on that rail there. Okay, so that's the aerial in. Data is next. And I can feel the data socket there with my thumb. That's the data you could hear. Well, I don't know if you could hear, but I heard it clicking in. Last but not least, the IEC mains. Can I get it in? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I've done the full unboxing of this. So if you want to see more detail, the setup and everything, that's all on the full unboxing. I thought I'd just include this if it's worthwhile for anybody. I'll put a link for the bracket in the description as well. Last thing I've got to do is take off the screen protector. Bit of plastic there. Oh, there we go. It's a big nice film, so I've got a nice clean screen under that. And I'll get myself out of the way. Got the mains internet and aerial all in. 